I'm Panator. This is Legend of Runeterra. And as pretty as this is, it's kind of an eyesore. Like, there is so much happening in this picture. And I swear to God, this is a character from a completely different game. We're playing a waifu deck to the surprise of nobody. Playing a mid-range deck, too. It's waifus. It's Ash. It's Sejuani. It's Ashuani. Wait, that's not a word. It's Ash Sejuani mid-range. Let's take a look at the deck. You know what mid-range is all about. It's about playing big units on curve and then punching the guy in the other face. It's my favorite style of deck because it has so many options. Against control, you use the bodies you have to smash them in the face before they establish their win condition. And if you're fighting speed, well, you slow them down because you've got big bodies on the board and then you can frostbite them and then... Oh no! Our attack is useless. Oh, we're running into your handsome and pretty boys and girls and women. Women and men and oh, everyone's dying all oh, for humanity and then you win anyway while not necessarily a simple deck there is more pressure on you to decide on what the proper course of play is it's also a bit more reliant on draw in some respects in that you need a specific draw or style to handle what you're facing the good news is this deck kind of goes around that weakness because it doesn't really care what it's facing if it's controlled you'll still play the Avaros and Sentry or the Omen Hawk they'll just dump it down like hey here's a unit it's just that the way you play the units you play will vary somewhat anyway let's take a look at the deck that's a brittle steel it's burst it's one it's frostbite an enemy with failure less health it activates your ash and lets you win combat in the early game establish yourself in the early game and the late game will likely be yours elixir of iron burst one give an ally plus zero plus two this round make your tough boys even tougher and depress people by having them attack your ash and be like aha she's got free defense but what if she's got five defense and then you'll laugh very hard because you're winning omen hawk one 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 when i'm summoned grant the top two allies in your deck plus one plus one very good card three points of attack and three points of defense on one unit distributed to other arguably more valuable units an amazing card and it's really hard to remove this from a frail yard deck Everos and century two two one last breath draw one you don't really care if he lives or dies really he's a blocker and an early attacker against control he's annoying to kill because you gain a card you replace it when they kill it against aggro he's an efficient blocker because you can block with him probably kill an attacker and then draw a card with which to make their lives a living nightmare. Ice Veil Archer 2, 3, 1, play Frostbite an enemy. I swear to Glob, this card should cost free, but it doesn't, so I'm gonna be happy with it. Shut down a big attacker. Get synergy with Culling Strike. Hit for free if the other guy doesn't have a unit, but he probably does. I wouldn't play this with an uh, empty board. I'd rather use it as a utility tool, unless, again, I'm fighting against control whose units do not have a lot of attack on them, like, say, Deep Control. Their early game doesn't really have attack numbers, so just drop that Ice Veil Archer whenever you want, and then smack him in the face for free. Trifarian Glory Seeker 251 Challenger can't block. She's here for a very specific reason, and that reason is reckoning. Not just because she is adorable. The important thing is against control, you know, those control decks that like passing on one and two to have a very big turn on three. Well, she punishes them for that by smacking them for five. Also, you can hunt down a big unit like Bram, who's lost his one attack, and it activates reckoning, as we previously mentioned. Great card. Averos and Trapper, just a good card. There's just that's like the Demacian slash failure theme, right? We're just very very efficient. Do you do you have tricks? Yeah, kind of, but really, it's just that we're big. Look at this Averosin Trapper guy. Free mana, free attack, free defense. When I'm summoned, shuffle an enraged yeti into the top three cards of your deck. That's an enraged yeti. It costs one and is five five. It's pretty good. I'm you can probably think of our units to put in on free but this is the biggest beefiest thing you can put on free so play it and because nab has been nerfed to draw from the bottom of the deck you're not as afraid to play avaros and trapper anymore his time has come killing strike free fast kill a unit with free or less power you have a lot of frostbite going but frostbite while letting you get good attack and defense sequences does not remove a problem permanently killing strike does and it synergizes very well with our frost effect also i guess you want to kill brahm or draven or something i don't know uh, 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 ash four five Free. Attack. Frostbite. The strongest enemy. Level up. You frostbite. Five or more enemies. When I level up, create a crystal arrow on top of your deck. That's Ash leveled up. She gets plus one plus one and becomes six four. Enemies with zero power can't block. She turns into a flash freeze. Frostbite an enemy. Shuffle an ash into your deck. And that's the crystal arrow. Slow. Frostbite an enemy and all of her enemies with fear or less health. Draw one. She's a closer by herself and she's not broken the way Sejuani can be broken if you really press into a Sejuani theme. Ash, on the other hand, is merely just... She's a fair champion. She doesn't take over the game at every opportunity, but she could, given many situations, just power through. If a deck wants to play the game the way it's quote-unquote meant to be played, Ash will shut that down. 
she's very good against mid-range decks because they don't necessarily spread their units wide. And Ash is very good at handling one big unit at a time. If they only have one defender, that defender is useless. And her leveled up version lets you handle a wide board with Crystal Arrow. You frost them all and then you attack and you probably win because it's very easy to keep a board with this deck. And the board you do keep is very big. Babbling Bjorg for free free when I'm summoned draw a unit with five or more power. I only put one of them in because I don't like seeing more than one babbling Bjorg ever. I mean, yes, he draws a card. Yes, he fins your deck. Yes, he might get you to your win conditions. But he's also a utility card and I don't like having free ofs of this guy because he's also small. He goes against my emotions and my goals and he dies to our own reckoning. So one is good. Like, I, I really want to get an Ash or an Avaros and Arvgard or Captain Ferron. Also, I feel like he got lost and came from Beauty and the Beast. Trifarian Assessor. It's probably going to get nerfed. 4 4 free. when I'm summoned, draw one for each five or more power ally that you have. Refill your hand and smash other guy good. Everdose and Hearthguard. 5 5 5 when I'm summoned, grant all allies in your deck. Plus 1 plus 1. It make dudes in your deck big and strong. Harsh winds. 6 burst frost by two enemies. Have I mentioned how good Frostbite can be against a limited board if they only have two units and you harsh wins them and then win combat? That's wild! Because you know what they're gonna do next round? They're gonna get punched in the face because their board is probably dead or crippled and your board is alive. Having trouble with those wide decks? Why not try Reckoning? It's slow, it's six, and if you have a five or more power ally, kill all units with four or less power. Sichuani, six, five, six, overwhelmed, play. Give an enemy Frostbite and vulnerable this round. Level up, you've damaged the enemy mean nexus in five different rounds that glorious oh my god that, that art is glorious six six seven at level up overwhelm given enemy frostbite and vulnerable this round on play and each round the first time you damage the enemy nexus frostbite all enemies uh Sejuani gets fury of the north she gets gives an ally plus four plus four and shovel to Sejuani your deck honestly Sejuani is not hyper critical in this deck he might actually be straight up replaceable it's just this is one of those Sejuani decks that doesn't really care about leveling up Sejuani it's just that she frostbites and synergizes with ash and can and shut down an important enemy unit and allow you to kill it in the turn you play her if you have the attack token. Our top end card is a card I have never played before, but I am enjoying very much. Captain Farron, 888 Overwhelm. When I'm summoned, create three decimates in hand. That is a decimate. It belongs in burn decks, but it belongs in our deck as well. Five slow, deal four damage to the enemy nexus. What makes this card good for me and good for this deck, I feel, is that sometimes we can't close. Sometimes we might be good enough at holding off the enemy deck or eliminating a control deck's win condition or slowing down aggro deck but maybe closing out gets difficult because they have blockers or your guys have also died that can happen captain farron says don't worry about it son just get it to 12 and i'll do the rest also i guess you need two more turns to fully cast all the decimates but you know that's neither here nor there if you get them to eight you get decimates next round and you win the game kind of if you have one spell mana open and look that's a weird thing for a mid-range deck to have the idea of inevitability. I discuss the idea of inevitability a lot and that's something that aggro decks usually look into. They want to get an opposing deck to a point wherein they just need to draw any card and they win. And usually that's four because most burn decks run decimates. Now with the addition of Captain Farron to this deck, we add inevitability to a mid-range deck, which is something not a lot of mid-range decks have. So that's good, right? We have a different angle of attack in case we get stalled out. And an enemy deck and an enemy could control that can only have so many denies or so much heal. Let the decimates finish the game for you. That's the deck. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. I sure did because I was tired of losing and I wanted to win a few games and this deck, it gave me wins. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy the gameplay and the deck guide. If you did, please consider subscribing here to where you're watching the video, Panair TV or to twitch.tv slash TV where I sometimes stream. Schedule has been hard to manage. I'm going to try to get back on that as soon as possible. Thank you for understanding. Enjoy the gameplay. I am Panator, and we, we can do better. Oh, hey, a mono brown deck. Uh, I don't know what that's about, but I'm sure it's going to be a nightmare, even though with the new brown. We do have Culling Strikes for a little brown, and I swear to God I've done this deck before, I just don't remember. This is great for brown. It's also going to die really fast, but we have a curve sort of, so I'll keep it. I don't think it's correct. But I'm gonna keep it. Thank God Brom no longer has that one attack. Because if he did, oh boy, would this be a bad deck to play against him. Alright, we'll just pass. As we're going down, coffee has not hit the bloodstream yet. I am currently drinking it. Which is why everything's gonna be a little so... Oh, there's my unique selling point. I don't know, do we even bother with that? I don't think at 3 we really care about anything at 3. 
I'd rather just not have him attack. But Long Rubus is for us slightly better. It doesn't seem like he's got a real end game here. He's just got Braum, right? How does that work? I'll pass. I don't mind passing here. Yeah, I kind of mind this guy, bro. Let's go hunt that guy down. We don't have a Reckoning in hand, so I'm not going to play as if I had a Reckoning. Uh, two means he can shoot it, and that's okay. That's weird. I guess it's just a hyper buff deck. Yeah, I have to. Alright, you got one. <laughs> you managed to get it, Frog. Yes, good for you. I don't know why I didn't that tone, but here we are. We do have a Brutal Steel to handle things. Uh, Sure, we'll take it. Two is fine. I'll just draw into this. We don't have any tricks. We want to really hide from them. This is fantastic with our Brutal Steel hand. That got me. This could honestly get me. We got that wrong. Also, that's my Facebook, and I need to close that before it starts interrupting me further. Hello, Facebook. How are you doing? I'll pass. So far, he's, we're both doing a lot of nothing, and I feel like our plan is to just get them to, like, that number and call it a day. I'll keep play this instead, because we might need the Frost or the Culling Strike. I'm not sure yet. How many are we at? One? The War Mother will unite us all. That's all right. I can attack with this, see what happens. That's going to do nothing, but we can't kill it. That's okay. Maybe he's trying to, like, get the Braum win. Yeah, that's all right. I'll Frost this, too. We can use this in something else, party on the attack. So they've got Plunder, always a concern. I don't know what else they're going to get. We do have all of that going for them. We've damaged the enemy in zero rounds, which is not fantastic. The good news is that said free power, Show them the way. which means our Sejuani, not our Sejuani, our, we get another Brittle Steel, we'll be in a good position. Double Sejuani, you say. I mean, say. Shush. They're getting really big. This is like a really big hyper buff deck. Maybe he's waiting for like a really big Braum, but I'm still gonna kill with this. I think it might be at plus four now. Excuse me? I didn't think that was still the deck. Yeah, alright. Sure. Do you run this into that? Do I care? I kind of care. I'll take free. He's got one. He could try to defend it, but that seems really silly. I don't need that card. So the good news is... I don't know what the good news is. I guess we can buff this. Uh, Trifarian. We can play it slow. I don't think we have wide removal necessarily. I would like four open, and we will get it with the Sejuani. To protect Sejuani from like damage nonsense. I mean, they really don't want me to attack, so I'm just going to drop this immediately. He has to try to kill it now. Otherwise, it's gonna wake up. I mean, we know it's gonna wake up. Alright. Yeah, that's good. I know it can't block, so I don't know why I did that. I guess I wanna kill it. Uh, we can stop this with this. That's fine. It's not going to block this. Yeah, you should block that. So do we want to... What do we want to survive, really? I think at this point, I value this more. Because that's like back-breaking for them. Like, what are you going to do now? Make a very big Braum? It's just going to keep healing? Is it a warm over deck? It could be a warm over deck, but... We've got, we can clock them with Farron. If they play a big attacker, I'll do this. Uh, I'll kill that. Block this. I don't mind. He's trying to activate Plunder. I'm not going to let him. I'll pass. I think it's too good not to swing in for it 12 right now. Like, we can save this Crystal Arrow as a defensive play. What is this deck even? Here you go. What is my deck even? 
Ha 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 ha! I've never heard this card played. So I don't know what's happening, but nevertheless, I dislike it. So he's down to like three. Yeah, all right. You got one. He can attack, but it's not lethal or even dangerous, really. All right. I don't know why I took five. Well, I do. So that's ten. So I'm just going to keep hurling these at him. And I think that alone will win us the game. I'm, I'm sure he's got more heals, but he needs to draw them, right? Sure. This will be a good winter. And then I'll just... <laughs> I might attack first. I don't know. I mean, in, in theory, it seems like an interesting deck, right? Now, with this all set up, I'm not even sure I want to do anything. What's the worst thing he can do? I don't think he's got a snap heal in that deck. I think he's just dead. Ha 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 ha! I didn't think Farron would matter, but here we are. It's a neat, uh, funky deck. Gotta say. Big fan of big, funky decks, but we're just too efficient. I didn't even play that well. The deck basically won for me. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a uh, keg control. All right. So get them down to 12 and start hurling big rocks at their faces. That seems like a good deal. I'm not even going to keep the Sejuani. This might be too early. These are dead, by the way. These are like 900% dead. So I'm not going to keep the Trafarian. This can be still at least apply value. But if we get to... Ah, that's so bad, though. We need to play it... Uh, we need to play around their possible removal. So I'm going to attack with this immediately because if we play the Omen Hawk into it, we might just... We got the buff, but we also just die. Or units die, at least. Nice! So Juani got a proc. So I'm pretty sure he's not going to play it. Like the damage guy. Oh, parlay. Sure. Alright, so Juani Gangplank. That's a thing. Alright. What if I buff some more? What if I become a very big boy? Alright, at least Nab Carps from the bottom of the deck anymore, so that doesn't feel bad. Ooh, big Trafarian. Weird, but I'll do this. I know what it looks like. So these are gonna die, like, next round. 900% dead. Unless... Well, Captain Farron seems to want to come out and play, yeah, child. You don't wanna cross me. My arrow won't miss. I mean, I can just do this. He doesn't have... He's going to block with that, and I don't necessarily want to waste it on that. So I'll just, you know, do this. Force him to use the nothing. Cool. So this draws us two cards. Fantastic. Reckoning uh, kills his whole board. Sure. I think that's worth. Sweet. Then I'll swing open for five. Because we have Farron as a backup plan. I like Farron. I think he's a great guy. Uh, nope. If he was an empty board or we had a way of dealing with that, yeah, sure, maybe we'll drop the ash, but no. So four mana with that means we can play this. Next round, we will have a lot of mana. 3 plus, I don't know, 7, 10? Yeah, that's 10 mana. So we can play these two, which is amazing. Because we're going to draw like a lot of cards. That's nice. So you're about to wake up because that's actually pretty bad for me. I know we only draw two, but that's okay. This is worth frosting. But four means he still got the plus four probably, so I'm not going to risk this guy. Ah, oh, plus four doesn't kill it. Plus four doesn't kill that, so he's going to use it on this. Ah, that's also bad.
<laughs> I can't kill that. I I need people to understand. I can't kill that card. Hmm. I don't want to drop the Farron yet. What I need is a Thrust card. We need to draw, so I'm going to drop the Everosin priority. So that's eight. It's a Sharky Boy. No? All right. That's fine. Yeah, if it's not a great play into Black Market Merchant, I think. Now I just have to hold. A chill in the air. Oh no, he's going to use another, whatchamacallit, thingy boy. I don't even remember what these cards are anymore. I can't kill her! She's too strong. Alright, I can't attack. So it's very dangerous next round. I think they proc this next round. No. I think he's just playing cards now. I don't know what's happening. Harsh wins into culling strike is excellent on nine. So let's make him real sad real fast. Uh, sure. I'm locked with this. I want him to spend mana first. Hmm. What order do we do this in? I know he might be able to proc it, but I think this is fine. I don't think he has it. I don't think he's got a buff. And if he uses it, he's using it on a turn where it doesn't matter. A dead Sejuani is also just good. So that's good. I think this is all good for us. I think this is also a good open. I don't believe me. I will pass on this. 12 is good. I mean, 14 is good. We're getting there. We're getting to our important numbers. I'll drop the Averroes in first in case he's got some removal. That's fine. We can even draw a lot of cards here, and I think we'll do that. Well, Omen Hawk. I know it looks like we're doing a lot of things, and we are. Yeah, this seems fair. Just draw, just draw two. Casual two draw. I mean, Shark can still get us. That's all still bad, I guess. All right. <laughs> Let's think about what you're going to do now. He doesn't have actual attackers. Yeah, yeah, Sejuani's awake. But have you considered that I'm okay with it? It's fancy. It's irritating. But I only need to deal two damage to him and survive. Yeah, that has to attack first. Really? All right. So we're going to take a lot, and that's uncool. This is dead already, but we can declare it as a blocker. Actually, you know what? This will die. That won't die. Uh, which means we get our block going. I don't need this to live. And I want attackers next round, so this is good. I also want to live, I guess. That dies this round, which means this still keeps its buff. Oof, looking a little dire here, to be sure. So weirdly, I need to do this. I need to pull that last, because if we don't pull that last, we just don't get attacks going. It's also a little concerned that he might be able to get damage off straight up. So here's what's going to happen. Nope. This last. Because if that procs, we, we get erased. Alright, 
All right. I think we win? Unless he's got burn? Yeah, he might win still. <laughs> like, if that's a... If that's a... <laughs> I, I actually thought he had this there. If he had big old Sharky Boy, he would have had this, but he did not. Oh, baby. I forgot to press record. Hey, that's bad for me. <laughs> actually, that is kind of bad for me. It's a pretty solid deck, weak early game, so we're going to focus on trying to get more early game cards, I think. I don't know if I want a Trafarian. I'll keep it. It's a drop. I just need early beats. But we do have even initiative, so maybe we should not have kept it. That's very good to see. Atrocity leaving. Oof. Very comfy. Oh, he did not attack. Weird play, baby. Ah. So I'm definitely happy to have like extra mana for Ash. Because that's gonna be our third turn. He also not having mana bear is good. Having this buff by to four is also fantastic because Grasp of the Undying no longer works. Which I guarantee you he's probably gonna play right now. But he's gonna save it for Ash. But I don't know if he wants to roll the dice on the ash, you see. Grasp. No, not. <gasps> he doesn't appear to have anything. He's running Riptide naturally? Excuse me. What a weird world do we live in. Hmm. Like 900%. He's like, I have a grasp of the undying for ash. This has to go first. Because if Ash goes first, he can grasp this and gain 50 mana life. So he instead takes 50 instead of 6. Yeah, I also did the math. I played that deck a lot. That's not true. I played it literally three times for a video and then like, I'm done here. I'm out, baby. I, I think he's he's in trouble. I mean, we don't have... Uh, the Captain Farron to save the day here, but we're, he's still kind of in trouble and that Ash is going to go uncontested, I think. We also got really lucky with the buff on Ash. Like, we can smell of a grasp in his hand. He calculated that. Like, he has five mana now. He has grasp of the undying in hand and is wondering, should I grasp something right now? No, I was wrong. That's not grasp at all. Eh. He'll still take three. And betrayal. Then I can play this and this and just start overwhelming his board. Wide removal is common for them. Uh, if they run Ruination, we might have some problems. But I'm probably going to play Yeti into Trefarian just to keep the draw going. But he's still in a really questionable spot. I briefly considered a Yasuo deck with Riptide and then I tried it and lost so much that I had to take a nap. Ow, I hit my mouth. Well, what's happening here, son? So what did I miss? Nothing? Nothing? I'm good with nothing. I've been listening to a lot of Hamilton nonstop. It's like my morning wake up thing. Like I'd better get to work. I'll frost that. I will 900% frost that. Draw. It's also like. Yeah, he's got Ruination. He's going to block a 6, and that's fine. And then I'm not going to play any cards. He's going to pass. I guarantee you. Like He's going to pass. And like, oh no. What if I don't attack? I can still smell that grasp in his hand, though. He's thinking about whether or not he should grasp now. You can sense it. He hasn't played a lot. This is a control-heavy hand. And if he does Nautilus this next round, I'll just frost it and then attack. open attack next round. Yeah, there it is. It's been in his hand for this long. I'm willing to play another Trefaren because it gets his cards and makes him sad. It, it, we have replacement uh, units anyway. And I don't think I'm going to have the room to play this next turn. 
So, Trefaron. Also, 12 is a really neat number to draw Captain Farron on. Right? Right? Am I right? Am I right that Captain Farron would be amazing right now? Like, oh, oh, no, that's right. That card exists. I'll draw cards first. I'll burn this. I don't want to see that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Show them the way see, if there was a mistake here, it's probably playing the Omen Hawk. But our hand is so full that if he ruinates, we just play. We just keep playing cards. If he plays Biggie Boy, we play Sejuani. Free mana is uh, largely meaningless to me. I'm not gonna commit the Sedge. Is that a challenger? It is a challenger. I'll pass. He's a buff. One mana, he can't do a lot with one mana, but I'm sure he's trying to set that up for a buff play. Hold on. I want this because I want to pull that to the end. Because they know he's got like something that gives him power. So if we attack with this, who gets nuked? You get nuked, okay. So we attack with these. Attack with this, pull this to the end so it doesn't know no healing shenanigans. And we attack. Let's go, baby. I mean, I guess I could frost them both so that they can't block at all, and that might have been smart. So we know what this is. That's a healy card. Then we play Elixir of Iron. Wait, are you at 4-7? Ah, oh, shame. 3. Can I find 3 damage? I probably should have done the Frostbite versus... Ah, oh, no, we'd still have one less blocker. We'd have not this, we'd have one. Oh well. We still got plays for days. And him killing this is weird. Now this doesn't proc. He could still sneak out a win, don't get me wrong. But he keeps playing out of Ruination. He might not have Ruination. He might have Harrowing. That could be scary. And I'm going to draw two more cards next turn. Ah, oh, hell, I'll do it right now. Maybe we'll get Farron. He's about to go deep, which is awful. But Farron makes me laugh. It's much like a photograph. Deep. Sure. So the problem with deep decks, as you may well know, <laughs> is that they can only play one thing per round at the end game. Yeah, that's all they're going to play now. Uh, we can Farron into frosting that. We can just frost that and kill it right now to make him sad. I think I'll do that. The time is right. It's the least uh, committal play we have. Hey, let me kill you. Because we have the advantage. We can play really slow. And there it is. Thanks for watching. That was pretty much clockwork. The problem with deep decks, I guess, is that you know what they're about. And you, you can plan accordingly. I still love them, though. He's still my beach husband, though.